All right, we're gonna get started on uh, buffing up the nose ribs. So I'm gonna get those down. The wife's gonna help me. Got our masks so we don't breathe in all the aluminum stuff, aluminum dust. And it's gonna be like three or four hours of just scuffing again. goodness okay so still working on the rest of these I've gotten through a bunch of the ribs nice and uh, scuffed my hands are hurting so we're gonna try the abrasive ball approach it's a 400 grit abrasive ball from Harbor Freight I've also got uh, the 180 grit ones just in case this isn't enough so let's give it a shot doesn't really do as much as I thought so I'm still gonna have to do this by hand in portions but it covers the big surfaces quickly Uh, so all of the center ribs are scuffed uh, I'm gonna start making the stiffeners and I've got these 24 inch long pieces of 0 0.025 uh, it just so happens that right here let me do this this way we've got roughly seven inches that we need right here about eight inches that we need right there and a little under nine inches that we need right there. So uh, I'm gonna cut these up into pieces that are seven, eight, and nine inches long. So one of these will do one rib, seven, eight, nine, 24, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, let's get to work. Got the back set to seven inches, nice and tight. So uh, what that does is and slide in the piece, hits the stop, and it makes a cut on the uh, seven inch mark, which I have listed right there. seven, eight, and nine inches. I think I'm gonna scuff these up before I bend them because uh, that'll save me some time and energy. So that's what's next.
my eights and my sevens all scuffed. That's try time to start uh, breaking them. So I gotta move that back out. And we'll start, uh, we'll measure the 50% mark um, using this thing like I did before. And uh, once that's measured, throw it onto the brake and bend it. different sizes of stiffeners have been broken so uh, one last step most likely this piece is a nine inch so it just barely fits <clears throat> I'll most likely uh, shave off a tiny little bit on the end there just because there is no wiggle room um, Probably should have done that before I broke them, but whatever. I can sand down a little excess and it'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to cut each of these down to eight and a half inches. So, look over here. Pretty much exactly nine inches across. Taking that down to eight and a half leaves me with roughly a quarter inch of clearance on each side. So I think that's good enough. I just set up the jig for the long pieces and uh, lines up with the line right there. I'm gonna drill these and then move on to the next one. Okay, now I'm going to cut the uh, 45s, so similar to these, I'm going to cut those out for those. And we're going to use the bandsaw and just buzz, buzz, and switch it around, buzz, buzz.
So, pieces are broken, cut, drilled, sliced at a 45. Now all I have to do is uh, sand. That was a long day. Uh, uh, seven hours of work today. Um, but the good news is, I got all the brackets done. They're ready to have the holes match drilled on the uh, ribs. Now that all the uh, brackets are done, stiffeners, it's time to uh, start match drilling them on each of the ribs. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up each of these like so. An example. Each of these like so. Make sure they're parallel and uh, match drill with a number. 40 drill bit.
today we're gonna start deburring the holes on the ribs. So each one of the five, each one of the 420 holes, I guess 840 holes because I have to do each one of these, both front and back. So I guess it's more like 1600 something, uh, 1700. Anyway, I digress. Um, I'm gonna have to deburr all of those with the trusty deburring tool. So each one of these will get spun around and uh, take out any sharp edges. My hair is longer because I haven't recorded anything in a while. I haven't been working on the plane in a while. So I've been building this. This is a cart for the brewery that I work at. And so that took a temporary priority. But uh, today I'm gonna get started on painting the center ribs. So that's the test for today. Loaded up on a bunch of spray paint. And then I also have wood for a desk, but that's not going to be part of this video. That'll be another video. Uh, so let's get to it. All right. I'm only going to record one side of the center ribs because it gets pretty repetitive. Here we go. Today we're going to be riveting the stiffeners. So, got some of these, they're all painted, boom, ready to go. Um, I'll deal with the back-to-back -back ones last, uh, but I will start riveting these. I don't think I actually have the right rivet size for the back-to-backs, so I just realized. Um, could have been, you know, waiting to get those parks up till now, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna rivet these with MS twenty four seventy eighty three dash fours. Again, are these little guys? And um, 
We'll get through all but the last four, which is two positions on the spark. First piece done, look at that. Sweet. Uh, 27 to go. So, um, the 4.032 inch uh, pieces are done. The rest of the ribs have been riveted. Um, I'm gonna mock these up. <clears throat> I need to get some uh, longer rivets. So, in the interest of time, I'm just going to publish this video. Um, you probably won't see that part go together simply because it's the same as everything else. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. I think it's part nine because this is part eight. All right.